they opened a restaurant here called Sweet Nola's, and they wanted a mural on the side of it. I'd never done a mural before, and I thought, well, this will be a great place to learn. It's it's uh, in Rankin. If I if I mess it up too bad, you know, hopefully not too many people will see it. They pretty much just let me run run free with it, and I gave them some designs, and this was the the one they liked the best. And do you get paid to do this? No, this is all just kind of for the experience, I guess. It really just it lets your shoulders relax a little bit. Just um, it's very minimalistic. You don't worry about as much stuff. You know, there's there's the sky and the scenery, and and you know you can see for miles, and it's kind of a, a metaphor for you know, West Texas sort of prioritizing what's important in life. Um, and the sunsets are awesome too. That's definitely <laughs> definitely one of the best parts about living out here. Not bad for a night's work. More than a hundred horses and two lost irons. All we need now is cattle. Thinking about all these guys that you watch in old cowboy movies and, and uh, thinking about, you know, there's always going to be those guys that are just always looking for, for the frontiers in society. But um, I was thinking, what would those guys be like today? And so I just kind of like the paradox of putting these old school cowboys into today's society. Because I kind of imagine they'd have a have an Instagram page and and uh, put all their adventures up on it. Or at least that's the way that's the way I saw it. What you doing? Same old shit, man. Yeah. Working for the city. Working man, huh? Been thinking about getting back in school though, man. Back in JC or something like that. Yeah, man. But on the other hand, man, I just soon keep working. Keep a little change in my pocket. Kind of the idea behind this piece was like trying to dissect what makes something cool. Like is it just one person saying it's cool? Or is it like people investing in their community and like being part of this culture of making something a place where somebody wants to visit? And um, I think you see that in places like Austin or New Orleans or New York. Like there's such an attitude of like, yeah, we're proud to be from here. And so people are you know, it's a cool place to go. I could never find who owned this owned this tank. And I was like, well, I can either come out here at night and do it, you know, under cover of darkness. I'll just lean into it and do it during the middle of the day. So I came out here and I was putting putting it all up and this cop pulls up and I was like, all right, here we go. Like getting arrested for the first time, let's do it. And uh, the guy was like, that looks awesome. I'm like, thanks. And he just drove off. <laughs> All right, cool. We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know that place for the first time. And I think that that's 
kind of how I view view my own journey and my own artwork is that um, the more I travel and the broader the broader my horizons get, um, you know, I really gain a new understanding for a place that I've known my whole life. And um, I think part of this mural project is sort of a love letter to kind of Texas and the Texas sense of humor and kind of what what makes it what makes it unique. So the, the official name of the project that I'm giving it is Paint the Town, which I think it's it would be pretty easy to do. Like there's, I mean, there's walls everywhere that you could paint. And Rankin is so cool about letting you do that. So you see people stopping by in front of this, over in front of Willie Nelson at my barn, everywhere else. And I mean, it's just kind of, it's given a little bit of life to the town. I mean, everybody in Rankin loves it. I've been here since 1963 and uh, I think that's the best thing I ever hit, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got more more walls and ideas lined up than I have time to, to get out here and execute them. I need to hire somebody to help me with these. And then that John Wayne picture down there. Oh, I got a nephew that's seven years old. And I gotta tell you, he's gotta stop and look at that thing every time I go by. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly would have no problem living outside of Texas or outside of the United States. But again, like there's just something that's that's a part of you and you don't know why, but it's just part of you. And uh, maybe that's what this whole project is about, is trying to find that Texanness within, within you. And um, Steinbeck calls it, a, there's a Texas mystique and it's, it most closely approximates a religion. And there's just, um, no real way to, to describe it. Like you can take your experience and tell that unique perspective that only you could say. Within you telling something so specific, it becomes the story of a lot of other people because it's unique, but then it's not, you know? I don't think I could have a have a real job um, anymore. I think I, I enjoy just kind of being creative, and it's not even something that I have to do. It just kind of comes out. And, you know, people always ask, "When did you become an artist?" And and I've, I've been an artist my whole life. Mm -hmm. 